Okay, welcome back to Blender tutorial number six for Blender 2.5 for the VisB conference. Um, okay, so we left off just learning about the basics of the transform manipulator widget and some of the transform manipulating uh, buttons that are available in the object tools panel that we can again toggle on, toggle on or off by hitting the, the T button. Uh, I just want to point out at this point a really useful feature is that if you've been manipulating your option, your object, and you and uh, you don't really like the way it's turned out, um, you can of course hit uh, Command or Control Z, uh, depending on if you're on a Mac or a Linux or a Windows platform. And this, what this will actually do is actually allow you to backstep and do various steps of undo. But oftentimes, a much easier way to do this is to take advantage of the fact that Blender's keeping track of all the transform manipulations you've made to your object. And so we can actually clear the uh, transform uh, operations. Uh, in order to do this, we hold the Alt key while uh, pressing one of S, R, or G keys. Uh, normally, if we hit the G key, it allows us to grab. But if we hit Alt G, it'll actually clear the location. And this panel down here to the left actually tells you what your last action was so that you can remember what, uh, what your step was. So now we've just hit Alt G to clear the rotate, clear the location. Now, if we want to uh, say rotate, we can hit the R key. This is another way to rotate, several different ways. And now, of course, if we want to clear the rotation, we hit Alt R, and now it clears out the rotation so that we come back to the way we originally had the object. And uh, another way to scale is to hit the S shortcut key, and this allows us to just scale. Uh, size, uh, not necessarily along an axis um, yet, and uh, in order to clear the scale we hit Alt S, and now we're back at our original cube that we were given as a default object when we opened Blender in the first place. Uh, as With regards to this transform manipulator, you might find it useful, you might also find it kind of distracting, so uh, one way we, we can get rid of this is to come down here to the uh, panel at the bottom uh, and actually just click on this little XYZ axis uh, logo here and the transform manipulator will disappear. Of course we can click on it again and have it come right back up if we're interested. Uh, so let's just shut that off for now. Okay, so now I just told you that actually, uh, I told you three different ways now that you can actually manipulate or transform uh, the various physical properties of, your, uh, of an object in the 3D scene. Uh, one is again by uh, choosing a transform operation in the tools panel, another is by using the transform widget, uh, and the other is to use the S, R, and G keys to respectively scale, rotate, and grab. Uh, so anytime we have an object selected, we can press G to grab, R to rotate, and S to scale. And of course we can clear those out as I, uh, as I mentioned. Now you may be thinking that uh, it was really useful to actually be able to uh, use the transform widget to uh, scale or rotate or grab uh, along a fixed axis. Now, uh, we don't need the transform manipulator to do that. Uh, you might find it useful, but if you're keeping track of the axes, and again, the little logo down here to the, the bottom left corner of the 3D view window tells you which axis is which. The X is red, the Y is green, and the Z is blue. Now, uh, if we want to actually transform or scale or rotate uh, fixed along or locked onto a particular axis, we can use the X, Y, and Z keys after we've hit the R, S, or G keys. Uh, so, for example, if we want to just move along the X axis, we can hit G and then X. And now we're going to move the object in a fixed, uh, along the fixed X axis. I'm sorry, moving along the X axis, fixing the other dimensions. We can hit G, Y and move it along the Y axis, or G, Z and move it along the Z axis. Uh, additionally, we can do the same with rotation. We can do uh, rotate along the X, rotate along the Y, and rotate along the Z. And same with the scale. We can scale only along the X, scale along the Y, or scale along the Z, whatever you see, see is uh, most appropriate. Okay, so that covers uh, some of the shortcut keys for uh, transform manipulations. Uh, we'll come back in uh, tutorial number seven uh, with some other uh, uh, options for manipulating uh, our objects in the 3D scene.